What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 31 of On Shape. Today, what I'm doing specifically is building the blocks for our trammel base. So, as the as the sears gone on, we've made the base with all of our dimensions. We've made the slides now with their appropriate dimensions. Now we're going to make our corner blocks. But the thing is that um, we want to use our time the most effectively that we can. And we already have a lot of these dimensions already. It's just we're going to reuse some of those dimensions. So the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to start a new part studio. So you can create part studio. And let's create our blocks. So I'm going to right click, hit view normal too. And we already have a lot of our dimensions already using this trammel base here. So I'm actually going to find the sketch in which I use the trammel base. And I'm going to copy this. We already have these dimensions and set in. How about we just use these now? So I'm going to actually paste. And so create a sketch on this top plane. And we're going to paste those dimensions. So I copied and then control V for paste. But the only problem is, and this is that the, um, this, when I paste it into this environment, that center is not origin, is not set up. So I'm gonna hit coincide and constraint. We're gonna take the center of my sketch to the origin point, and then boom, there we go. Everything is dimensioned as it was to begin with. Looks good to me. So I'm gonna hit the green check mark and we're already on the road to victory. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna extrude this part and this part down. We're gonna flip those down a quarter inch. And that's just because we're starting off our blocks. Our blocks are gonna go into the trammel bases a quarter inch, okay? And then since that sketch is now consumed, I'm gonna hit this visible icon because we're gonna be using it again for some of our other dimensions. So let's click on sketch now on this front plane, right click, hit view normal two like we usually have done before. And now let's add in the dimensions for our corner blocks. Well, we know that this dimension right here, this whole line segment, um, let me, there we go, is 4.25 inches in length. And we know our slides here have a total width, uh, I believe it's just gonna be a hair bit over, a hair bit under three quarters of an inch. So what I'm gonna do here now is I'm going to uh, throw in our blocks. So let's, let's go ahead and hit rectangle, corner rectangle. Let's throw in our four blocks right here. We don't quite know what their dimensions are yet, but we do know what we're gonna do with them. Okay, actually, you know what? I made this a little bit better than the first time. We're just gonna do one for right now. So let's rectangle, corner rectangle, and we're gonna do this one right here. Okay, so here's what we know. We know that this dimension of this line is going to be uh, in total, as 4.25 is our total length. We know, so I'm gonna hit minus, 0.75 is the room for the slider. So all we need to do is take this information now and divide it by two. And so by thinking about all of that as kind of a function using math, we can say the clearance there is one and three quarters inch, or you can just type one and three quarters inch. I just think it's really cool to use on shape and the functions that are kind of hidden. We're gonna do the same thing here, that this is gonna be one and three quarters inch. And there we go, we're already looking good. The only thing we need to do now is we're gonna go ahead and uh, now I'm gonna turn on my planes again, my sketch here. Let me see what we got here. All right, right click, hit view normal too. And this rectangle right here, we're actually going to use a couple of different times. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna mirror this square. So select a mirror line, we're gonna mirror the line, and we're just gonna mirror this geometry right here. And the really cool thing is it just throws in that square perfectly, it's dimensioned, everything looks good. 
And so I'm going to hit Escape now, click on Mirror, Mirror the Center Line, and then we're actually just going to highlight everything. And it throws in all four squares where they need to be. Everything is looking good. The only thing I'm going to do on top now is I need to throw in these circles right here. I'm just going to do it over top. Nope, I don't like that. Let's go back in here. There we go. I don't have these dimensions on top of my head right now. So I'm just going to overlap them the best I can. There we go. I'm going to come back in here and fix these a little bit later, but I don't want this video to be super long. All we need to do is go back to our trammel base for this sketch right here, and we can see what the values are for some of those dimensions. Uh, but to prevent this from being a super long video, I'm going to let you go back, put the dimensions back in, uh, and then we're moving forward. Okay, so now let's go ahead and hit the green check mark here. We're going to extrude all of this up. Let's try that again. Yep, it doesn't like what I'm doing. So I'm going to try that again. But instead of that, oh, we're just going to do sketch two. There we go. Now, what total height of this are we bringing up to? And that's to the first lip on our slides, which is going to be this length to this length, and that's 0.355 inches. So I'm going to bring that up to 0.4. So we're going to do up to a height of 0 0.4 inches. Okay, we are looking good. We're going to keep moving forward. We are almost done. The only thing with that extrusion though I needed to fix is let's do an add. Because what we want to do is we want to add all of those parts with what we currently have. Okay, so now I've got four parts for my four corner blocks, and we're looking good. The only thing we need down is to add another lip, do some chamfers and some fillets, and we're done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on Sketch. We're going to click on this top plane right now. Hit View Normal 2. And now we need to include the clearance for the slides. So the slides have a clearance of 0.452. So I'm going to put in... Uh, for that clearance, right click hit view normal too. We're going to do the same thing we did before, but now we're going to do this just a little bit bigger on this rectangle. We know this dimension for the square is going to be 4.25 minus that clearance between each of the, the trammel pieces, and so let's make that uh, 0 0.5. Oh, actually, let's do 0 0.45, if I remember correctly. 0 0.45 won't be enough clearance, but 0 0.55 will be. So we're going to do 4.25 minus 0 0.5. And then that whole thing is just going to be divided by 2. Or you can just type in 1.875. That works as well. Okay. We're going to do the same thing we did before. And we're going to mirror about this line. We're just going to mirror all four of those lines. We're going to click on mirror again. We're going to mirror about the center line. And we're just going to highlight all four of those lines again. There we go. We just replicated a lot of our work rather quickly to make these blocks. So the only thing I need to do now is extrude that those last little bits up just one more time. Okay. These are going to be adds because we want to build this to our corner blocks. But we notice we run into a problem that's called merge scope. Is okay. You want to build all of these parts up, but they're four different things. So what actually are we adding to? 
we're just going to select all those four blocks that we've made and there we go it's added to our four corner blocks but that height what is the height of our slides here and we got top to bottom there that height is 0.489 so I'm just gonna do 0.5 Let's do four or five. There we go. And we've correctly made our corner blocks. Now I did have to uh, kind of eyeball what I'm gonna do with these corner blocks because I don't have like a true drawing file I reference for the other ones. It's just what it is. So we're kind of eyeballing them and making sure that they kind of work best they can. The only thing we need to include now is our, um, the channels for our, uh, trammel pieces our slides to go through. One of them is rounded off is squared off. The other ones are rounded off. So the only thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna zoom in just a little bit and we're gonna add a fillet to the inside corner of one of our channels. And that fillet radius is 0.25. Okay, and we've successfully made our four corner pieces. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions, please let me know. But I'm gonna end the video here for today because those corner blocks are actually a little tricky to make. Um, but we just used some old sketches that we've already had. We pulled them in here, we edited them, and now they're good to go. Okay. If you need help in any way, shape, or form, feel free to reach out to me however you find me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Please like and subscribe. It is a huge help. Take care.